Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to share three easy and affordable DIY Dollar Tree projects that you can try at home. Let's go ahead and get started. So I decided to get two bowls from Dollar Tree. These are clear bowls and what I'm going to do is just flip one upside down and then I'm going to take E6000 industrial glue and just apply it right on the top. You want to make sure you have a good amount of the glue on top because we don't want it to go anywhere. Now that we have the glue on it, I'm just gonna place the other bowl on top and let it dry for 24 hours. After the glue has cured, what I want you to do is take pure baking soda and you just want to put a little bit into a container. You wanna make sure the container is not something that you're going to use again. Next, you want to add in your paint. What I'm going to do is just take some sample wall paint that I had uh, and I'm just going to add a little bit and just make sure the consistency is still thick. You don't want it to be thin at all. So what I'm going to do is just stir it up and just see if I need to add any more baking soda or paint um, just to give it a thick consistency. I do not have like a measurement or anything. I'm just like winging it. Um, so after you get the consistency that you want, um, it's like a thick paint. What you want to do is just apply it to the glass. The first time it's going to be kind of transparent. So don't worry about that. Um, it's going to take a couple of coats for you to complete this. Once you have finished the first coat, you want it to dry for about 15 to 30 minutes. Okay, so now that the first layer has dried, I am going to apply a second layer and you can repeat the same process until you get the look that you desire. For me, I applied three layers, and so what I'm going to do is just let it dry for 24 hours, and then I am ready to put in my plant. But of course, you don't have to do what I'm doing. You can use it for whatever purpose that you need it to be for. And this is how it turned out. Check out the texture. I am so happy that my plant has a new home. For this project, you will need two Dollar Tree frames. If you notice, these frames do not have a glass front. The first thing that I'm going to do is remove all of the contents out of the frame. I'm going to repeat the same process for the other frame as well. What I'm going to do next is put the backing back in and use the tabs to secure it. The next step is to add hot glue to make sure there is no seams that are open. Please ignore the frame that's underneath it. I decided not to move forward with having it there. Thank you. 
To add additional security, I'm going to take the backing from the other frame and place it on top. Next, I'm going to flip over the frame and then I'm going to pour in my resin. And this was something that I did off camera. If you would like to see how I mix resin up, I will put a card at the top and you can click on that video after this particular video. The colors that I decided to use for this particular tray are white, gray, and gold. After I poured everything in, I just mixed them together. I had a little bit of resin left over, so I decided to just add that on there as well. After I finish, I let that dry and cure for at least 24 hours. Next, I took two small frames and this is the one that has the metal in the middle. And what I'm going to do is remove the contents on the inside um, as well as the tabs. Once you remove the contents, you just want to apply a little bit of hot glue on the front half of it and then place it on the back of the bigger frame. After that's finished, you just flip it over and you have a resin tray. Okay, so for this project, you will need two packs of these wooden clothespins. So what I did was take each clothespin and I just twisted it just like so, just to get rid of the middle spring that's in there. Uh, we don't need that for this particular project. So after you do that, you have two separate wooden pins, you know, two halves. And then what you want to do is take your hot glue gun and just add a little bit of hot glue in the center. After that, we just want to connect the two halves together. I repeated the same process until I had 30 of these. So the next thing I want to do is trace out my mirror that I had. Uh, I got this from Dollar Tree a while back. I think it's like six inches in width, but I'm not sure. But all we want to do is just trace around the mirror. And what I'm using is construction paper. You can also use cardboard for this. You just want to have something that's thick and is sturdy. 
Next, I used a plate that was a little bit bigger than the size of the mirror, and I'm going to trace around that. Um, it could be any size of your choosing, so it just all depends on what size your mirror is. I had to guess, I would think that the plate is eight inches in width. The next thing that I did was just cut out the circle. The next thing that I did was place the pins down before I glued it down, just so I can see how it's going to look. If you are new to doing DIYs, I highly recommend you do this step just to ensure you know what it looks like before you start gluing things down uh, because it could mess up at the end. So definitely don't skip this step. Okay, now that I know where I want the pins to be, I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down with my hot glue gun. You can skip this step, but I like to experiment just to see what how it turns out. So I am going to add my black craft paint on top just to see if it makes a difference when I spray paint it. Okay, so I'm gonna put that to the side and now we're gonna work on the base. For the base, I am going to use this block here and it, it's kind of like two blocks in one. Um, and it looks like this. I put the UPC just in case you want to find it online um, if you can't find it in your store. Um, so what I'm going to do is take out the little box on the inside and now I'm just going to put a dot on the outer box and I'm going to turn it upside down. Um, and then what I'm going to do is take my drill and I have a 1 4 inch bit on the inside and what I'm going to do is just drill a hole where I mark the center. And the reason why I did a 1 4 of an inch bit is because I'm going to use one of the dowels that you can also find at the Dollar Tree and it fits perfectly for this particular dowel. And here's what it looks like on the opposite side. Now that I know that the dowel fits perfectly, I'm going to pull it out. And what I'm going to do is just add some marbles on the inside. And this is also from the Dollar Tree. Um, you can put rocks or anything. What we want to do is just weigh it down um, so that our stand will not move or tip over. So all I'm going to do is just put a little bit of hot glue on the inside of it and just drop some um, beads in there. When you're placing the beads in there or rocks or whatever you're using, just make sure you do not block the hole that you just created. So what I'm going to do is just put the dowel in there again, um, just to see if it fits snug and it does. And what I'm going to do is just add some hot glue to just keep it intact. I'm also going to add a little bit of hot glue on the outside of it just to make it look like it was mended together, like it was metal or something like that. But you can skip this step. For this particular stand, I decided to use the color rose gold, but you could use any color of your choosing. I just have someone in mind and I think they're gonna love it in this color. Isn't that pretty? Honestly, I can't tell whether it made a difference painting it black, but I just wanted to try to see um, if it did make a difference. For the base, I am going to use silver just to change up the color, um, but you could use gold, you could use black, you could use white, so many choices. 
Okay, so now that everything dried, what I want to do is just put a little bit of E6000 in the middle of the circle. And then I'm going to put some hot glue on the inside as well for um, to secure it temporarily. Um, but the ultimate goal is for it to be permanent. So that's why I have the E6000. Next, I'm going to place the mirror on the inside and let the glue cure. And it usually cures in 24 hours. And the final step is to connect the base to the circle. And all I'm going to do is just put a little bit of hot glue on the end of it and then place it on the back of the circle. For added security, you can add more hot glue on the outer perimeter of it. Once you have finished, it should turn out like this. If you have stayed through this entire video and you have not subscribed, I highly recommend you subscribing. I love putting out content. I love creating and um, I love sharing with you. So make sure you subscribe and like this video. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.